Greetings and salutations all. I am running on dark chocolate and three to four mandarins. It is 11 a.m. on a Wednesday day. Let's get into this video. You always see videos on how to improve your art fast or here are 10 ways to get better at drawing. Well, enough of that bullshit. This is a video of how to not improve on your art. Howdy y'all and welcome to another video. I am your host Karen aka Unlicensed Care Bear coming at you today and I thought I could motivate y'all in a different way, in a different aspect. Reverse psychology. Is this reverse psychology? Honestly, I don't know. I didn't study. Actually, I did take one psychology class. <laughs> Perhaps sometimes we pick up these habits as artists that we aren't aware of and that are toxic as fuck towards our craft and mental health. So some of those will be relayed in this video. Warning, if you don't like getting roasted for your bad habits, homie, you you ought to get the fuck out of this video before you start crying. Love you lots though, and come back when you're emotionally prepared for what I shall say. Now, the first tip. Or the first, the uh, the first thing, the first bullet point to my bullet journal that I have written down in this hereby script in front of me. I I have been a culprit of this one. Many of us have gone through this for many generations now. Maybe since the eighties. Honestly, I don't I don't know when this became a thing. But if you're going through your weeb phase, your weeaboo phase of your artwork, stop, stop, just just. Just stop now, while you still can. <laughs> no, but seriously, sometimes I'll get asked, how can I learn anatomy and art by just drawing anime or even just fan art? Bitch, can I be fluent in Korean without learning Hangul and grammar first? The answer is no. No, I cannot. No amount of BTS and K-dramas can prepare me for speaking fluently if I just flew to fucking Seoul, Seoul, Seoul. I don't know how you pronounce it correctly. Uh, excuse me. Essentially, that is the same with art. You'll be replicating whatever scene from an anime or redraw someone else's fan art you found on after typing Rena Kumarel in Google search bar. But then that shit will be looking like Picasso because you don't know how the ears align to the rest of the face or where the fuck the eyes go in distinguishing the whatever face anatomy, structuring, what is structuring to you? No, you don't know what that is. You just know big anime uwu eyes. And you're also abiding by the anime anatomy law, which holy shit, 50% of the time that it, it just does not make sense, especially in the early 2000s anime style. Oh my God. And I'm not even gonna talk about even prior to that where their fucking face is basically on the forehead and there's just so much chin area. Like what the fuck is that shit? Shoddy, please. Why are they so lanky and pointy chinned? Why they kind of be hitting like Waluigi though? Now I will say this, anime fan art is cool if you enjoy it. And if you enjoy doing it, fuck it, don't listen to me and do what you'd like. Draw them kawaii desu uwu anime girls. But you can't expect to actually learn the fundamentals by only drawing that. Now I, I will be drawing anime fan art sometimes and of course, I do have the fundamentals, the basic structure of anatomy, <laughs> kind of, but I will say that, but I will say that if you want to really commit to drawing anime fan art, I think learning the fundamentals is the first step to doing that. Because if you don't do that, you're, you're just going to be drawing those pointy ass chins and then your eyes are going to be so far apart and it's going to be like, what the fuck is happening right now? Why do I hate my art? This is why. This is why you hate your art. You're going to have to hit the anatomy textbooks or just watch YouTube videos because who the fuck reads nowadays? Uh-huh. Um, Amazon audiobook people, if, if you want to sponsor me, that would be lit. I, I hate reading and I think we would make a great team. You can honestly learn and draw them kawaii desu uwu anime girls at the same time. Enjoy yourself while also acknowledging yourself. Is knowledge a word? Because I don't think it is, but it is in my book now. The same case could go for fan art, but I guess it depends on the fan base. If it's K-pop and you know actual real people, I guess that's a bit better. But if you're still just copying straight up from a photo without understanding the anatomy it's still good practice but on anatomy but you know you still 
try to figure out the fundamentals while doing that. Now, the second one, don't at me, but honestly, I don't give a toot because I get a lot of DMs and tags of these, and it doesn't hit right to me, in my opinion, and this is redrawing someone else's work. Now, here's my thing about this. I don't think it's doing either of us justice. There is one thing to study someone's style, but it is another to straight up just copy it. Granted, I know the people who send me redraws mean well and just look up to me for some odd reason, but shit, I'm not 100% with my anatomy skills either, especially with my sketches. The amount of tags I get with redraws of my shit sketches I do in less than a minute, please, half of the time, the proportions don't make sense. So stop, stop redrawing my stuff, because you're not learning anything by doing that. If if you want to develop your style by looking at one of your favorite artists, go for it. But don't be copying line for line. Homie didn't think plagiarizing was a thing for art, but it is. Instead, analyze it. What makes their art unique? How do they manage their line strokes? Do they add pressure to their pen? What color or techniques do they do in order to get to the finishing piece? Try to destructure. I know that's not a word, but let me... Let, let, let me do my thing. Trying to destructure their art and rebuilding it yourself can guide you towards a better path to develop your style and art. Mayhaps I'll make a separate video thoroughly talking about how you can study artists and develop your style if y'all are interested. Let me know in the comments down below. Overall, stop redrawing my sketches, damn it. <laughs> this next one is a touchy subject, but I've come to learn is crucial to learning art. And that is using reference. Now, you'll hear some people talk about how using references is a sin, and if you use it, you're not a true artist. If they tell you this, kick them in the shin. I don't condone violence, but do give them the stanky eye. How can one know how a certain pose is supposed to be like if they just pull it out of their ass? How can you study anatomy if you're not studying from a model or a reference? How can you cook chicken pot pie if you don't have your grandmama's recipe card thing box. I will say that it gets to a point if you are solely relying on the reference, you aren't benefiting yourself. It's supposed to be a guide, but it's not there, but it's not there to hold your hand the entire way. Don't be afraid to use reference. But also don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> now this one I am a culprit of as well, and you all know it. Drawing the same shit all the fucking time. Some people can definitely get away with doing this and making a living off of it, and kudos to them, but it does get to a point where you are limiting yourself as an artist while doing so. As you know, I am a simp for male physique. Therefore, I draw them all the time, but I do know I don't draw women often, like ever. Well, I do, but it's always off screen. I haven't reached a point yet where I am comfortable enough to show my female sketchy sketches. I don't think it's necessary to show all of my journey if I don't want to. So I will continue to have people think that I am a crazed woman who fiends for men, but behind the curtains, I be drawing the go the girls, the girls, the girls, you know? Material girl. Again, not often, but it's a slow progress. But I will continue to draw men because I genuinely just love their physique, their their proportions and everything. Like, am I sim? I guess. Tell me I'm straight without telling me I'm straight. <laughs> As fuck. Heterosexual. I also found this evident with drawing backgrounds and buildings. And I know at least three fourths of you plebs also try your best to avoid doing backgrounds. I agree that shit is terrifying. And you're going to want to cry as you go. But when you reach one year in of whatever subject you're trying to study, it would have been worth all those sleepless nights of tears and despair. It's it's a struggle, but it's nice when you accomplish something. When you it's like when you're learning a language and you get to a point where you can understand something without having to read the subtitles and you're like, oh my god. Oh my god. My I can translate that on my own. And that's fucking lit. And if you can do that with your art, that's also fucking lit. Anyways, do you ever not want to draw and then you go weeks maybe even months not drawing then hate yourself once you draw again because it turns out like a piece of shit that's another way in which you can 100 percent improve on your art no doubt don't draw ever that's it 
draw like once every couple of months and you'll you'll be golden you, you can leave this video now okay bye guys 10 out of 10 always works i will say it does suck when you're burning out or you have no inspiration to draw i feel you homie but sometimes you gotta stop being a little bitch kidding life happens and that's okay though if you draw art because you enjoy it draw it to get yourself in the mood watch the movies that inspire you look at art books go outside for once in your life and get some vitamin d maybe you'll spot the lorax who knows that man is a shit well actually what is he is is he a man is did i just assume their gender regardless you can't seek improvement if you're not making moves to get to it i didn't get better at drawing men at least from my eyes until quarantine hit and all and i was close to drawing every single day i was drawing bts every day and if you didn't know all seven members are male so obviously i i was getting better at drawing men Sometimes you'll catch me drawing on the daily nowadays, but with no pressure. As much fun as I'd like to not draw for weeks and procrastinate on every project I can possibly think of, that's not going to get me anywhere. Of course, take whatever break you need, especially mental breaks. You deserve it, homie. But don't forget that practice makes perfect. So if someone asks me, how did you get so good at drawing? I will fucking fight you. Out of love. Now the last one, I'm going to backhand slap you for doing this if if you do this but don't worry i'll give you a forehead kiss for your boo boo talk about toxic as fuck I, I i don't think we should be together anymore honestly i i don't think we're healthy for each other um it's it's not it's not you well well it is you but it's also me it is comparing yourself to others you need to give yourself props, homie. You entered this career field, whatever you have it, that is quite competitive and also draining as fuck. That takes some courage. Now, all there is is climbing those big steps towards your goal. But alas, you look on your left and there is your art class prodigy who took years worth of cycling in Zumba classes and they're zooming up those stairs. But you need to focus on yourself, boo. Just keep straight ahead. Go at your own pace without the pressure of time. There is no timestamp or limit of when you need to succeed things at whatever time to be good at, or to be good at something. Comparing yourself won't lead you nowhere to your success. Unless you're competitive as fuck and that's your driving force, then fuck it, go for it. I'm kind of like that too, homie. <laughs> go right ahead, but just don't be a dick about it while you're trying to get to the finish line. Respect your peers. Other than that, you're doing great, sweetie. And that concludes my gentle roasting of you beautiful people. I don't mean to offend anyone in any way, but merely trying to be friendly and push you to get better at whatever you may do. It's a scary path, but don't worry, you got this. I'll be holding the back of your, uh, your two-wheel bike, um, but eventually I will let you go and you know hope that you don't fall but there's a 50 percent chance you might fall but hey you'll get right back up buddy and i i know i know after a couple crying sessions you will learn how to ride that bike don't stop creating and i'll catch y'all in the next one Bye bye